unsettling Victorian slangs, Emile Langlier. Emile and Madeline Smith were a very unlikely and sordid mid-century affair. The story began way back in 1855. That year, their unmarried sexual liaison was scandalous. It went against the strict norms of Scotland's high-class Victorian society. Though their letters to each other, it was clear that they were engaged in a sexual relationship deemed unthinkable at the time for an unmarried people. Their in-person meetings further scandalized the city of Glasgow. Whenever they went in the 1850s, their romantic interest in each other was a topic of hot debate by those who observed them. Sadly, things took a turn for the dark when Langlier and Smith developed an interest in another man. This enterprising new gentleman met with her family's approval, too, and Smith ready to marry. Enraged by that, Langlier resorted to blackmail in an attempt to maintain their close connection. But then suddenly, his health turned inexplicably sour. In his personal diary, Emil expressed suspicion of being poisoned. He linked the moment he first fell ill to right after a contentious encounter with Smith. He even told an acquaintance that he would forgive her if she were to poison him. Quite a curious thing to offer. Tragically, he never had the chance to do that. Langelier passed away far before this time, or his time, March 23rd, 1857. Investigators were suspicious of his untimely death from the very start. Emile's letters wondering about the possibility of poisoning only made things more mysterious. So, Smith faced trial in the aftermath of Langelier's death. She presented herself confidently during her testimony and wowed the court with her beauty and poise. She had an answer for everything as well. To explain her recent acquisition of arsenic, she claimed that she had been using it as a facial cleanser and not as a deadly poison. Amazingly, those peculiar Victorian beauty routines made for a successful legal defense. She was acquitted of murder and quickly set free. No one else was ever charged in his death. Today, the truth behind Langelier's demise remains unsolved. 